I'm here with Jack Lasky and Evelyn Brochu. Hello. Um, how does it feel to have X Company coming out so soon? This amazing World War II drama. Oh gosh, we're so excited. We um, we actually got together last night and saw a couple of episodes. And I don't know for you, but I'm I feel so uh, proud to be on such a good show. I mean, you you know from within that something special is happening, but when you see it all come together, there's something so rich, so truthful, so compelling and thrilling about our show and yeah I absolutely agree we knew it was good when we were making it because the team is wonderful like mm. every everyone every person every member of the team the acting the uh, writing the producing mm. like the costumes the set like it was all there it was all there absolutely and so we knew it was good but watching the couple of episodes we watched yesterday we I, I think we were all quite gobsmacked, didn't quite realise how good it was. And it's exciting to be about to share it with the world. Yeah. And synesthesia, synesthesia, am I saying this right? <laughs> talk to me, talk to me. Yeah, synesthesia. <laughs> so, yeah. so tell me what synesthesia is and how you embodied it as an actor. So synesthesia is a cross wiring of the senses. Alfred has fivefold synesthesia, which means that um, any one sensory experience can cause a response in all of the senses. So uh, he could listen to a piece of music and have a distinct taste. Uh, a colour might come to his mind. He might feel a sensation, you know, in any part of his body, in his left hand. He might feel a tingle. Um, he also feel, uh, well, experience like a uh, a smell, a different smell. Like it, so, it's it can be quite an overwhelming. Um, experience life can be quite an overwhelming experience and uh, plunging this character into the center of world war ii is is quite a leap for him yeah there's also a cool thing if i might add because he's on our team and we're, we're lucky to have him join our team because he has a perfect memory um and so that's very useful to us but to him it's uh, correct me if i'm wrong a gift and a burden because you do remember everything mm -hmm. yeah perfectly and that's why he's recruited by Duncan Sinclair wow. um, imagine dating with that like it'd be so bad <laughs> I, know. I know yeah the arguments you'd have no I remember very clearly you said this yeah no I mean he's this amazing human camera so he's an amazing asset to the team but also if he were to fall into enemy hands he that's potentially incredibly dangerous mm. and Aurora is so much there in the action and you know, it seems like the scariest possible, you know, position to be in. So what was your process when, like, when you first read about this character, how did you feel and really get into sort of the momentum of it? I really liked uh, the backstory that Mark and Steph, um, the co-creators of the show, uh, created for her. Um, to me, there's an, there's an old actor I worked with who once told me, always look at the job they do. It tells a lot about what people are about, right? And so she's, she used to be, before she joined the resistance and then got recruited by Duncan Sinclair, played by Hugh Dillon, she was a journalist in France. So she's a French-Canadian Jewish German girl who moved to France to be a journalist. So to me that says she's curious, she's passionate, she's opinionated, she's a go-getter, and she's not afraid to get close. So those are things that kind of um, got me started. And uh, yeah, I mean, she 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 also becomes a, a, a sergeant, so th that's the starting point. But there's also like we all have really good emotional arcs to to get through, and so those were just like right there in the script. Just had to jump into the situations. I think the body brings a lot of truth to when you're running around, when you're when you're doing a stunt, a lot of adrenaline kicks in, so the reality can get poured back into the fiction. Oh, mm. like, you know, bombs or grenades are going off. How did that go down on set? <laughs> Is that a visual effect or were there grenades? <laughs> there, there were, there's a lot of really amazing CGI. Uh, yeah, and there's also some live explosions that, you know, True. we all would gather to witness and, <laughs> and film on our iPhones. Yeah, we've got some good explosion videos on our iPhones. It's <laughs> For me, as a girl, it was my first time doing stunts and, all, and, and explosions and all that. And you just, 
you're so there's like one take really because all it's all set up and it's really long to reset and so the the, the nervousness of wanting to get it right <laughs> makes it look absolutely like I'm uh, like life and death situation right quite, quite. and no acting required exactly. if like this, so, this window explodes above you don't want to lose my job don't want to lose my job you're just like <laughs> yeah of yeah. yeah exactly yeah instinctively like it all kicks in oh. so yeah Great. And also, can you tell me a little bit about the costumes and how that informed your performances? You had a very lovely yellow dress on in the first episode. Uh, but, you know, the guys especially, I think, are wearing these, you know, handsome uniforms. Yeah, uh, I mean, the costume department was extraordinary. Uh, Andrea Fleisch, who led up the, that department, is just so super talented and gave us um, these clothes, it was a real collaboration, and she gave us these clothes that we felt at home in and that we felt transported by. And like, I personally, I think we all uh, like work from sensation, right? So if you're there in a really buttoned up shirt and waistcoat and coat, it gives the weight of the material, gives you the feeling, you know? And that, that is, that's, that's a gift, right? And, and everyone looks so good. Yeah. Like uh, Aurora's costumes, time and time again, <laughs> another extraordinary dress she'd arrive in, and you'd be, yeah. But everyone, everyone looks looks brilliant in it. Yeah, I think it's a good era also for um, for fashion. Some yeah. eras fight against the body, whereas the 40s, I think, complement, like the men have broad, like in their coats, look, their shoulders look yeah. broad, they're, they look t tall and strong, and women's curves are like, followed and not like fought against which was really great I mean for me too I, I couldn't believe how hot you guys were all the time <laughs> <laughs> but I wish I wish we wore suits like the whole time yeah it just feels so good yeah it's just great you feel important you know mm. yeah. yeah great and where's the best place for us to follow each of you online obviously we can find X company on CBC do you guys yeah. have Twitters that we can check out? Or? I have a Twitter account, Evelyn Brochu, and I have, I'm on Instagram as well. I like Instagram so much. There's something very poetic about it. It's like, look at what I've seen. There's something a bit more mysterious about photography. I, there's like, I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm a fan of it. Definitely. Yeah, I, I'm not a big social media man myself, but I've gotten to Instagram recently, and I really love it. <laughs> like, it's, it's a really creative yeah. outlet, right? Definitely. And I, yeah. And your handle is? On Instagram? At one of the Jack Laskies. Okay. Very good. There we are. Right. Well, thank you <laughs> so what's much. What's your handle on Instagram? What's, yeah. Oh. You uh, didn't Evelyn Brochu. There we are. Yeah. Simple. There yeah. Effective. Yeah. Yes, yes. That's what this woman is. <laughs> not simple. I mean, not simple <laughs> mentally. <laughs> so. What did you say? That sounds offensive, but oh. I didn't mean that at all. No, no. <laughs> She's a very effective. Great. <laughs> thank you, Jack. Well, well, thank you so much, guys, and congratulations on the show. Thank, thank you. you very thank much, you very Katie. Much. Nice chatting with you. You as well. I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats in downtown Toronto.